Hello everybody, today we are going to install and download NetBeans IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which means that it has got lots of useful tools that are integrated to each other and uh, where they are supposed to be used in some kind of development. The NetBeans IDE is used to de develop applications like for example websites, but also it can be used by Java, C++, but well, we are focusing on the development on we of websites. As you can see, you can use here HTML5, PHP, they don't say anything about JavaScript, but the truth is that you can use uh, bo bo both uh, HTML5, PHP, JavaScript, well, anything that is connected to the creation of web uh, websites, okay? So that is very cool thing because you have got here everything at once and well you don't need to relearn new IDEs each time and well it has got some kind of support for debugging, for life reloading of your scripts that you are for example writing other things like that. That's, there is lots of cool stuff but that we'll talk about later but well, there are many editors and you might not like NetBeans, right? Because, well, the truth is that one people like, for example, NetBeans, the, the other people like, for example, Notepad, very easy one, very simple. Uh, the other guy might like Aptana Studio, the other guy might like Visual Studio. It all depends on the person. Uh, I recommend any of these editors here, okay? All of them are very cool. But I think the NetBeans is the best of them. It is pretty easy to uh, understand and it has got lots of useful tools. Okay, so let's download it. I will click download here. And now we will use the HTML5 and PHP. We have got also a JavaScript here. I will click download. And then I will just click here. As you can see, it's asking us to save it. I cancel it because I have already downloaded it. So let's just execute it. Okay. And as you can see, it's now configuring our installer. We are clicking next. Of course, we are reading precisely our license. <laughs> we are clicking next. And as you can see here, we set the path where we want to install our ID. But here is also something very important. You need to use the Java environment in order to even be able to run the NetBeans, right? So uh, you need to download it first. How to do it? We just type uh, Java development kit uh, download something like that and as you can see here is the second link this time and I'm just accepting the license and I'm downloading here for Windows 64 bytes Java development kit I'm clicking here and it's just gonna download it and the installation is very easy so just next 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 don't uh, don't care about things that are written there and then when you have got installed you will have this thing here for sure, okay? You can just then choose here exactly uh, which one you want to install and then just click next. And here, as you can see, it's asking us if you want to check for update. I think it's a good idea because it will automatically check for your updates and update things that are old, okay? Install and then just wait. So, as I said earlier, it doesn't matter what editor you're gonna use, really, totally. All of them has some different features. Most of them have the same one, but well, there is some specific, for example, coloristics, specific interface for one person. You might, uh, some people like the simple interfaces. Some people like a bit more complex, but with more ability to change things in there, right? So as you can see, the installer has completed successfully. And now uh, here we are being asked if you want to contribute to NetBeans project by providing anonymous usage data. Well, if you want to be tracked, you can check it. If you don't want to be tracked, uncheck it. Well, it's helping them, so I'm just checking it. Finish. And right now we have got our NetBeans install. It is on your desktop or you can use it from here. You can just open it 
And as you can see, here is our great integrated development environment. And as I said earlier, it has got lots of tools. It can create projects. It can help us when we type something. So for example, when we are here, as you can see, window that, and as you can see, we have got hints, right? And that's really cool about IDEs. In the next lesson, we're going to create projects and we'll have fun with it. Thank you very much.